Hi everybody, it's me Legardo Lax and I'm also known as Chino Artie. I'm here to do a very quick review. As everybody knows uh, from my YouTube subscribers and stuff, I'm a big Robocop fan. I love Robocop. Um, I'm going to be reviewing about the DVDs, but first of all, I got to start you off with the VHS. I actually have the original VHS right here, original box of the day it's released. Originally, this is really old, oh my god, original, not even an EP mode, it was a real lengthy VHS tape. As I came across Robocop 2, when Columbia House was originally a movie house for me to order movies, and then um, later on they actually revised the release later on with new boxes looking like this with the new font of Robocop. This is a Robocop 2 copy. I have so many different Robocop movies here. The bottom right here. This is actually cartoon series and TV series. And now I'm going to be talking about the trilogy. What? <laughs> I mean like <laughs> there's so many kinds but I'm going to show you guys which one is the best way to watch them. To start off. I actually came across the original, uh, well I had a girlfriend at that time and I actually have an original MGM DVD version of Robocop. Um, the cover looks like this. And the movie did come with 5.1 surround sound but I didn't enjoy it. Well I gotta tell you what happened to that DVD, my girlfriend at that time broke it. Because she is crazy. But anyways, I actually got a new copy later on. But after I got that copy... I still had it that time. I moved on with this trilogy set. And um, then after that I came across this copy. This is the R rated version. But when you come across this copy. This is the trilogy. You actually get um, a cool benefit to it. I mean, this is, let, me, let me get this to you. Um, this is the first Robocop DVD I came across with. Very first before I came. Because I bought this. At Sam's, uh, Sam's Goody for $69.99 when it came out. That was expensive. This is a Criterion edition. And this is the best way to watch Robocop to see the full picture. The movie is not matted. You get a bar in the top and bottom, but you get the full picture. It's in a 1.66 non-anamorphic um, um, widescreen. Meaning it's, um, you, it's not really high definition, but... You get to see the whole picture. It's not cropped it at all. You get to see the whole picture. And a, the original audio commentary from the original Laserdisc version. This is the very first special edition. And it shows the full uncut scenes. But the audio was audio was not remastered right. Then um, what you get inside actually. Uh, you come across these things you know. Uh, just a little bit of paperwork. And uh, some art. That was very rare to be seen in the internet. And you get some scans and it comes with a, a diary and an essay um, type of making of the Robocop. It didn't come with any features. And then after that I came across this copy. Which is, um, I remember I bought it at Best Buy for $20 when it came out. This is crazy. When you see this is a Robocop 3 cover and that's actually a different Auto 9. I'm still wondering what kind of gun is that. That is not the gun because uh, that Robocop had on his left hand. That's actually his right hand. And when you open this bad boy up, you get this nice, beautiful... Um, there's the pamphlet. It talks about the trilogy and all that. They even made a website. Let me move my ashtray out of the way because I tend to smoke a lot of cigarettes. And and then look at that, it comes across that, you, you get all trilogy. The only thing is Robocop 2 and Robocop 3 doesn't come with special features. Let me tell you this, this is the first, this is the only copy you will enjoy Robocop 2 and 3 in the highest clarity that will beat the Blu-ray. But the Robocop 1, you get a better version, but it's matted in a 1.88 aspect widescreen. Comparing this DVD to this one, this has a sharper picture, 5.1 surround sound, this is only 2.0. And they actually fixed the audio compared to this one. This one seemed like a, a work a work print copy. And this is the best way to watch Robocop in the way that time. 2 and 3 was, it didn't have any special features, they only come with the trailer. But this one comes with deleted scenes and a new commentary. I wish they would re-release Robocop 2 or 3 with special features, but it never did. Robocop 2 has a controversial scene when he actually witnesses his own grave. What would Robocop do if he sees his own tombstone? 
That's one thing I want to know. But they actually answered that question, but in a lousy TV series and filmed in Canada. But I, I think it was lousy. But there's some people who actually enjoyed it. it had Robo Cable in it. It was called Robocop um, Prime Directives. Okay, I'm done doing the review on this one. This is a great trilogy. This is you got. This is a must own for two and three and a remastered version of part one of the Criterion. They actually fixed the sound mix. Then later on, you'll get the best copy of Robocop 1. In a clamshell metallic cover, this is metallic, it actually has a newer commentary. And the commentary in this one is not like comparing Robocop as Jesus or something like he, like Paul Beethoven did with this one, meaning he's being crucified or something like that. It's, you get the extended version, you get all the same features you get from this into this, but in a higher definition. The copy is actually more clear and it has more vibrant colors and this is the best. This is a 20th Century Fox edition. It's really well made. And then after that, they came across, you know, they released a Blu-ray disc and this is it. Um, it this one is DVD and Blu-ray. You get both copies. And when you open it, now remember my I mentioned about my girlfriend destroyed my original Robocop. It came with that same DVD. A 5.1 release, but this is an R-rated version. And it's a decent, and this movie comes with a Spanish track and more audio tracks compared to the, the this one. And it comes with the Blu-ray edition, which has the identical cover towards the, at the 20th anniversary. Let me tell you this, you do get the unrated version, but it does not come with the special features. It has the exact same identical. This one is the R-rated, and they package it up like this. But you get the gore, but not any special features, nor audio commentary. Then later on, they came across this in Walmart. It's called the Iconic Edition. This is the Iconic Edition. It came with this um, newly revised cover to prevent you from getting the clamshell. They actually came across this one. I came across this one. When you open it, it looks like this. So it's just a plastic version of the metallic cover right here and then um, what you get inside you get a limited edition iconic little collector's edition to this this is a collector's item it's a picture that's it then you get the same insert and the same DVD that you get from from this copy so from the 20th anniversary it's exactly the same thing what's inside in the special features and I just bought it because it was only $6.99 in Walmart and it's just for collector purposes. And it's actually, oh god, I'm on Facebook right I gotta put this DVD back where in place. Okay, now, um, now I'm done reviewing that one but I came across this one in Big Lots for $3 and it's a UMD disc edition of the R-rated version of Robocop to play on your PSP. But what's the reason of having this when you can just download the movie on the internet and then just copy it on the memory flash do? Okay, since I have a few more minutes, this is the Robocop trilogy on the Blu-ray disc collectors. And I thought I was going to receive something identical to this. No, it's not. No, let me open it. You get the cover looking like this. You know, nice looking cover. Robocop 1, 2, and 3. And what's inside... It's really disappointing because the Blu-ray copy I got was exactly the same print right there on that. And of course it comes with the alarm and then it says uh, what's in front of the sticker. It says first time on Blu-ray, Robocop 1, 2, and 3. Yes, first time. But you get a different menu on these ones and no special features. What's up with this? Orion, please. MGM. Please make a revised version. Since you guys are doing the remake, do me a favor. Not just for me. Do it for the fans. Who's a Robocop fan. Make the best Blu-ray interactive you guys can do with this. This is nothing compared to that one. And the transfer is very lousy. That's why I'm not going to demonstrate it because you can't compare it on filming in the camera. But uh, Well, I really thank you guys for watching. But this is a quick review. Um... But the best way to get the trilogy is buy this and this. Since this is not released anymore, go for this copy. Just get the DVD version. Forget the Blu-ray. The quality is still better on DVD. Thank you for watching. Yep.